The Sijic Order is one of the most mysterious organizations to ever exist on Tamriel. This order consists of the Sijic monks, powerful magic users who move in mysterious ways. The Dragonborn during the College of Winterhold questline encounters such individuals concerning the power behind the Eye of Magnus. Today I'm going to share with you four facts about the Sijic Order and hopefully shed some light on this puzzling organization. Fact number one. The Sijic Order produced some of Tamriel's most famous and powerful mages. The King of Worms, the evil Manamarco, and the founder of the Mages Guild, Vanus Galarian, were both students of the Sigic Order. Manamarco and Galarian actually became good friends, mastering the magic arts together until Galarian discovered that Manamarco was manipulating the souls of the dead. Galarian was so disgusted by this, however Manamarco loved it, and despite Galarian's scolding, he continued to delve deeper into the dark arts. The two had a falling out, which would result in a great battle between the two and an army of mages fighting an army of necromancers. Galerian died in this battle, but his army won, and while Manamarco was thought to be dead, he had actually achieved immortality through becoming a lich. And later in the Third Era, the tables were turned and Galerian stood by Manamarco's side as one of his undead worm thralls. This all came to a close with the final conflict between the Mages Guild and the Order of the Black Worm during the events of Elder Scrolls for Oblivion when Manamarco was finally defeated. Fact number two, Magic Bacon. The Sijic monks bred intelligent Sijic domino pigs. Yes, you heard that right. This powerful group of sorcerers devoted their precious time and efforts to the creation of pigs. These pigs are unlike others though. They're so smart they can recognize their own name and they can even count to five. They also aren't spooked by magic. In fact, they seem to love arcane activity. When spells start flying, these pigs sit back and grunt in amusement, which makes them excellent companions for spellcasters, such as members of the Sijic Order. Fact number three, the Sijic monks can use magic to disappear, moving the location they reside in, known as the Isle of Arteum, out of sight. This landmass is usually located near the Somerset Isles. It's unexplained where they move the isle or how they do it, but we do know that it has happened multiple times. One time in the Second Era, around the founding of the Mages Guild, the Isle of Arteum disappeared for a massive 500 years and then mysteriously returned. In more recent history, the Sijic Order vanished again in the Fourth Era. Coincidentally, its disappearance occurred at the same time as a new wave of expansion for the Aldmeri Dominion and the Void Knights, where Nern's two moons disappeared for two years. Their disappearance could also be related to the fact that the Thalmor consider them a rogue organization, and to avoid Thalmor interference, the Sijic Order may have decided to move their base of operations somewhere safer. Fact number four, the Sijic monks have a reputation for magical talent in regards to both perception and communication. In Skyrim's College of Winterhold questline, you would have experienced their Sijic projections firsthand. This involves a Sijic monk projecting an image of themselves to another person over very large distances, and then they use magic to manipulate this image so that only the receiver can see it. They are even so skilled that they can freeze time so that they may hold a conversation with someone in a crowded room while not even a split second passes to the other inhabitants. If this wasn't overpowered enough, these monks can even see into the future to an extent, giving them the ability to make decisions ahead of time in regards to world-threatening situations such as the Eye of Magnus event. Speaking of eyes, the Sijic can observe happenings across many miles of distance, like viewing the actions of the Dragonborn at the College of Winterhold. A Sijic monk was even able to sense the coming of the giant floating island Umbriel while it was still far out at sea. Subscribe to Fudge Muppet for more fact videos like this. We really love Elder Scrolls lore and we know you do too. Thanks so much for watching, we really appreciate it and remember to hit the like button if you want some magic bacon. My name is Scott, social media links are in the description and I look forward to nerding out with you again very soon.